which markets do you see are the, have the most growth potential and where there are the most opportunities? Yeah, that's a tricky question in, in light of inflation at the moment, but let's look at it this way. Um, when you're talking about the growth potential, then you are, again, there's something that uh, I think McKinsey coined, which is the, they call it the digital potential of a, of a country, which is basically the ability of, or let's say the, the transformational effect that can happen to classical services and product that can become digital and what's that potential. I think that still exists for the most part actually in Western Europe, although digital leaps have happened, still the potential is massive, um, so the digital potential is, goes still untapped. You would be, I mean, and you probably are not that surprised given that you're from Poland, that actually Eastern Europe is faster in adopting and the digital potential in Eastern Europe is probably less than that in Western Europe where I mean, I think I've heard that in, in Germany, they still, fax is still predominantly used in a lot of, let's say, medical communication, which is archaic. If you go to somewhere like Romania, where emails, even WhatsApp, even you know, social media platforms are utilized to deliver the service, and deliver results, communicate faster, etc., etc. Yeah, I think the digital potential still is untapped or has, a, let's say, a very large untapped portion in Western Europe. Yes, uh, in Wrocław, uh, where I live, uh, I can pay with my iris. Um, I can even pay with my hand if I choose to. <laughs> um, um, by sector, where do you see uh, the most, um, let's say, potential workloads being pushed uh, into onto the technolo technological level? I mean, I am an investor in fintech, so I can tell you the potential of fintech is huge, but honestly, fintech is a top player to other value propositions. So you have to first deliver value, then you bring in financial technology to capitalize even further. So here, health tech, med tech, of course, became a hot topic because, again, of the pandemic, but then again, because also there was a wave of investment in modernizing infrastructure, in adopting new solutions, etc. New therapeutics are popping on the market now anyway, and this is something that maybe is unnoticed by the general public, but it is happening. Um, cell therapy is becoming more and more mainstream. We're also looking at microbiome therapeutics, a wholly untapped area. And these are going to change, let's say, the way we treat people. Um, you add to that the way we educate people, so educational tech is changing rapidly. And then you combine that with the potential that e-commerce is bringing, plus all the payments infrastructure, the lending infrastructure that is modernizing. And you have, let's say, a wave of modernization in multiple sectors. So it's not just one sector that has the highest potential. It is the synergy between different ones such as medtech, fintech, e-commerce technology, SaaS, etc., etc. So, yeah, it's 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 a very exciting time to be an investor, really. <laughs> That's what I can tell you. Thank you very much, Suleiman, for your time. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.